Hi there, I wanted to show you a mini spindle I've made. I've already made it once and I've taken it to bits so I can rebuild it. Uh, I've made it out of one of these extension pieces which is an ER11A collet chuck holder. Uh, get little collet chucks that go in up and hold. They go in there, they do only go in from one side. So now that will hold a router piece. These shafts originally came in a 100mm length, which I've cut down with a hacksaw. I've got a bearing stuck on the end, but how? what I've done is I've used two bearings that are 19 by 10mm diameter, 7mm wide, and they've got flanges on them. And they fit on this shaft incredibly well, to the point of I've got it stuck and I can't get it off. The next thing I did was take a block of wood and drill a 19mm hole straight through it. Sprayed it black. I did intend to make it out of another material eventually, but this also worked out so well that I'm intending to leave it. So that fits in there very snugly. And then the other bearing needs to go on the other end of the shaft, which is such a tight fit. So, that fits in there quite nicely. I'm powering the spindle from a RC buggy 540 motor. I found this one lurking in the back of an old boat and it had a coupler on there. Now as it turns out that that's 8mm diameter. So, I've got a coupler that's 8mm one end and 10mm the other end to fit on the 10mm shaft on there. To join that onto there, I've used box section aluminium, which I've cut out to that shape with holes in, so I can mount the motor on one side. The motor's fixed onto here using two M3 cap heads. Then we need to add the coupler, which is very, very tight on that. So, that's in there now. The whole lot then gets screwed onto the top of this block. This then gets screwed on top of that block. and a couple of screws holding that in place.
So we've got to tighten the screws down on the coupling. There we have a motor and spindle. Which should fit onto So, connect it to part of the wiring loom. Now at the minute, on the other end, is a uh, connector. We have a set of batteries off of a buggy. And that seems to work quite well. But it would be better if we could have it switched on and off by the controller. And what I've got here is a little relay for an Arduino. Uh, it's got three inputs, we've got positive, negative and a signal. Now on Gerbil 9 onwards they changed two of the pins over so instead of using the pin that's marked for the spindle you have to use the pin that's marked for the end stop for Z- minus. and we can just plug them into the CNC shield Plus five volts, ground, end stop Z minus. Now on the other end, it's a relay which is just a switch. So if we disconnect this wire. This is chocolate. Chocolate the rabbit. And it has a common and a normally closed and a normally open. Well, we want the normally open, and that'll be the switch. So when you type code into the controller M3, it'll start this window. When you type in M5, it'll stop the spindle. The only, the only issue you might have with it is that because the new version of Gerbil 9 onwards, it also needs a spindle speed, so you need to type S1000 uh, M3. And I can't get that in the hole, so just for easiness, I'm going to. And now we should have full control from the PC.
You might notice that my head was missing for some of that video. This is due to the fact that my cameraman decided she wanted to take a bath and cleared off and left me on my own. Still never mind. If you like the video, like, subscribe and all that kind of stuff. I'll see you next time. Ta-ra!